Okay, folks, look, you done pushed the play button, and I know why you're here, right? Because you saw the word, the acronym DUI, and you saw fries, right? Listen, the DUI is, look, driving under the influence, and what's the influence? You're going to have the itis after making these. Let's get it. Okay, so look, let me give it to you in a just, right? So I'm getting ready to peel and do my potatoes, right? So we got to have the french fries. This can also be done with nachos. We can make them either way. You got to do them how you want to do them, right? So we're going to have potatoes. Look, the ground beef, that's going to be for our chili. You know what I mean? Uh, if you guys want to have something on the side, want to have a little bite, you know what I mean? We got pimentos and then we got the uh, hot chili right here. Over here, we got pastrami. Check it out. And then we got, you know, thick cut bacon. And then we're going to do some flank steak because this right here is going to turn out to be our uh, carne asada, right? So we're going to put some more cheese on it. And what we want to do is, I'm going to start with this right now because what I want to do is I want to start to uh, marinate. That's very, very important to get that flavor in here. And once we take this out in the grill, or you guys can do it in the kitchen either way, I think I'm going to do mine on the grill because it's so easy for me to just set it up, fire it up, and this will be ready in like about less than 10 minutes. Hey, so with that being said, let's go. So I'm going to start with like a couple of tablespoons, right? You know, brown sugar. Now, for you guys that been following me, I'll put a reference on the screen so that you guys can go ahead and see, you know, that I have already made this. Just to give you a video on how to make it when I did the carne asada uh, french fries. I mean, the carne asada tacos, right? So let me just get all of my ingredients in right now. All of the ingredients, along with reference to the videos and the printable recipe, is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com. And that's W-I-T-A-B dot com. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, look, we'll take our garlic, right? We don't want to mince it. I'm going to go ahead and just smash them, get them opened up. You know what I mean? You can see it leave a little bit of garlic on, the, on my uh, chef knife. But this will open it up, let it become fragrant and help with the marinade, because we want to have that flavor, right? When you mince it, and if you're going to do it on a grill, or even if you do it in a, in a, in a pan, you know what I mean, or a skillet, what it does is, it'll get hard, and it'll, you know, turn black, and just the appearance really ain't there, right? So now we'll take a little olive oil, put a little bit of this in here, like that. Don't forget, folks, this recipe, along with everything that we're doing right here that's putting on the fly, fries, those will be on my website. And we put it here, and the rest, you know what to do, right? I'm gonna go ahead and close this bag up. I'm not gonna take all of the air out. You wanna have a little bit of air so you can have a little bit of the movement. You know what I mean? As we mix them, right? So, we do it like this. And then we are gonna marinate this for about four hours. If you guys have any forethought, know that you're gonna be doing this on a game day or, or a get together or something like that. For best results, I say for the flavor, especially when it comes to your carne asada, right? You want to go ahead and marinate it overnight, right? But this right here, ooh, I'm liking it. Look at that right there. Okay, so after I got that in the inside, what I want to do is, listen, it's been a few hours, right? So what I want to do now is I'm going to start with my chili, right? So we'll just go ahead. This is two pounds of 80-20. And now I'm going to get in here and just break this up. Okay, so you see I brown, right? And now I'm going to add... You know my onions i've already pre-diced and had everything you know ready again don't forget this recipe is on my website and i got a video you guys can see the whole thing inside of my uh i think i did chili dogs you know uh, that was a good video you want to talk about something that uh that tastes good just that og chili right now we add the garlic a little bit of cinnamon look this the trick right here folks you guys already know, I didn't already let the cat out the bag about the cinnamon and what it does, right? And then the chili, you got to have the chili. Okay, so this is my burger rub, right? This is what you want to use inside of this right here. But we got to have that mustard, right? Just give it that tang. And where all the people that talk to me down in the comment section below, I know y'all gonna say, man, I don't even like mustard. Yeah, okay. Now I'm getting ready to come with my tomato sauce. Right? I just like to get everything mixed up this way. You know what I mean? All right, so now we got this going, right? Notice I ain't hit it with no salt or no pepper yet, right? This is the W sauce. For those of you guys that when you hear me say W sauce, if you're new to the channel, that's that word, sauce. Right? So let's go ahead and put a little bit in here. You guys are gonna be making this chili. Listen, you'll be making this so much. 
You know what I mean? Everybody in your household would be like, hey, we having chili dogs, chili hamburger, you know what I mean? Uh, chili burgers. I got you covered when it come to that. Hey, chili Fritos, all of that. Then we want to give it a nice mix and then cook it in. Now you want to make this a little thicker, you just let it stay on the stove and this cast iron, just continue to cook it. You know what I mean? Look at the thickness. This is good right here. I'm going to take it off the fire and I'm going to set this to the side. And what I'm getting ready to move on to now, it'll be the fries. Now I've been debating in my mind that I want to like peel my potatoes. You know what? You guys can do it any kind of way. You can uh, go with the frozen fries. You know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't make any difference how you do it, but I got these potatoes and I got to do something with them. Now I look like they, they look like they ain't been cleaned and all that, but they have. Listen, I scrub mine and do all of that. All right. So I want you guys to pay attention here. Listen, when you put your, you know, your potatoes in, you know what I mean? We got to get them dry, right? Before we stick them in the inside, right? So I'm using my spider, you know, to get them out. And notice I have two spiders, right? Reason being, I don't want to grab the other one. I don't want to just use one because if it has any water on it, when I put them in the oil, we will have some issues, right? And I still want to make sure these is covered. And I'll keep this on top so I don't get confused, right? All right, so look, now I want to check my temperature. This right here is essential, folks. I know grandmama, or maybe even passed down to your uh, your, your mother and father, you know what I mean? And uh, they didn't use these, but I do. And I was taught to just know it when it's right. I know about sticking uh, the wooden spoon inside, waiting for it and all of that. But this right here ensures, like, especially running a restaurant, you know what I mean? Uh, this right here makes sure that everything is, you know, copacetic, like it's where it should be. Now, I'm gonna stick this in here right here, and we'll look. I just want to get as close to 400 as I possibly can. So look, 393, you see that right there? That right there, 398.1, that's great. Now don't forget, when I stick this in the, these fries in here, it's gonna drop just a little bit, you know what I mean? So this is ensure that we got them. So now we'll just stick these in here. I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna let you guys kick back and see a little bit of this eye candy, you know? So if I stick this in here like this, look. So you see them floating right here? <clears throat> that tell me. They ready to come out of here. Now you guys can go a little bit. Listen, if you don't want them to have the dark edges, you want to have them like the lighter fry, like how they have at McDonald's, just do it 350. But for me, I like to see a little color on here. These is nice, all of them are floating. Ah, yeah. Now, you want to get yourself something like, like what I'm showing you right here, like a large bowl, right? Spider works too, you know what I mean? Helps you with getting everything out. I do have a deep fryer with a basket and all that, but sometimes I just like to get down old school. And that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so the reason I did it this way because I want to show you. I want to give this time my oil to get back up to temp and I want to put a little bit of salt on here. Look, this is that bacon sea salt. This right here is premium, folks, from Branson Vine. I use this. You always want to season. I mean, I got it. It's a little bit more seasoning, but we're going to keep tossing and all that and it's going to just coat them all. So just take them and you want to do them while they're hot. Listen at them. You want to know, are they crispy? See that? You can hear them, let me move this over here. And yeah, we just put these down like that. Okay, so listen, I elect to do my carne asada, you know, outside on the grill. You know what? I like that flavor and all of that, right? I end up marinating this overnight. I had to like take care of some business, so overnight is best. That's for the pre-thought. Really, I just say like a minimum of four hours and then anything else after that, you know, you guys are golden, right? So I already got my my grill up to temp. Let's see here. I'm gonna take this out. Now remember, I want you to look right here. Remember, I just smashed the gun, the, I'm about to say the gunion. I smashed the, the garlic, right? Now I don't have to worry about this burning or nothing like that, making those little dark spots on it, right? So I'll just take it like this and we'll put this right here over the top, on top of the coals, folks. So the setup is, for me, I put my coals right here. This is my hot zone. I want to cook on direct heat. All right, so now that I got the carne asada on the uh, grill, what I'm going to do is, listen, so we want to multitask because we want everything to be hot, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my bacon and we're going to start. Obviously, I'm using a, you know, a flat top. Okay, so once you got everything, you know, put together, I can tell you this though, listen, it'll probably be faster if you guys went ahead and did the frozen fries. 
But for me, I don't mind frying them, you know what I mean? But you're only gonna be able to make so many at a time, so you're gonna have a lot of batches, right? Now, I got me a little bit of a, a Mexican style. I had this in the refrigerator. Mexican style uh, cheese, you know what I mean? So, it's like a fried cheese blend. I just put this in here like this. We're gonna put some of that hot chili on the top, right? So now I'll bring this over here. We take it and we just start ladling it on. Look at that right there. All right? Now it really depends on how many people you have in, you know what I mean? You might wanna quadruple this. You see this right here, this will probably feed four people. You know what I mean? I'm sure if you were doing like in a function, you're not finna just only have this. Or if you do, I would really uh, do it because everybody gonna come and get a big portion, you know? All right, so look, now we come to the pastrami. You know what I mean? You guys can do it how you wanna do it. I'm gonna keep it kind of like section, you know what I mean? I just kind of like shred it with my hands, right? You guys can do it. You wanna put whole pieces, you know, serve it like it's like salami, however you wanna do it, right? But I'm just gonna decorate it like this. Okay, so look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this out of the way right because we're gonna go ahead and chop down some of this bacon right so let's do it like this oh, that's enough right there now i'll take my chef knife and we just cut this up it's up to you how big you want your pieces to be so now we're gonna cut this down right so you can cut it how you want to you guys can see the grain best to just and then when i take it like that Look at that right there, folks. As it comes to this, after I diced them down and got them to a different size, you know what I mean? I was looking at everybody's face. A lot of people like to see they meat, especially when it comes to, you know, they beef, they want to see it like uh, well done, right? So I went ahead and just fixed me up a little bit, put some in the microwave, as you can see. Some of it still has the pink in there. That's the way I like mine, you know what I mean? But right now I'm gonna fix it where everybody can, you know, just enjoy themselves. Mm. I'm gonna just put some, you know, right there, like that, it's okay. Now you guys are starting to understand why I call these DUI. You know what I mean? Because after you eat something like this, oh my goodness, folks. Right? So we got chili, we got cheese down there. And what you guys didn't see me do is, I made myself a chili sauce, I mean a cheese sauce. You know what I mean? It's on my website, you guys can look. Okay, folks, so if you pay attention and you look down in here, you know what we did. Look, we got that bacon. We got chili, I put more chili on top. We got a Mexican blend cheese, just a little spread on the bottom. You know what I mean? And we got pastrami, you know, some seasoned fries, jalapeno, and then these chilies for those of you guys like to eat and munch on them, these, these little peppers too. So with that being said, listen, I'm finna get right in here, get some of this, get one of these fries, get some of this bacon. Ooh, there's so much going on, it's hard to even uh, figure it out. You know what I mean? But this is how I'm gonna get in here. I'm not gonna go back in because I'm gonna share this with everybody. But you know I'm the chef, so chef's choice. Cheers. I'm gonna tell you why I know that when you guys make this, it's gonna be better than what I just made right now. This right here gets you like 99.8% into the game. You know what I mean? Uh, but the reason I say you guys can do something different because if you do, you're gonna substitute whatever I've done or add to it and make it your own because you already like what you're doing. So that's why I always say just that combination right there that just be fire. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what would you do? What would you take out? What would you add? Or what, you know, different proteins would you put in here? But that pastrami, chili, we got cheese. Ooh, we got corn asada. Uh, everything is just like fire, folks. I really don't know what to say. I got people behind me like, hey, they doing this. Like, come on, man, we ready to eat. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. You see that right there? I'm about to take it to the back, and I'm out. Peace.